and welcome to the ninth episode of Inside American Independent Cinema. This is our first 2024 episode and starting from this one I want to announce you that uh, I am going to talk about uh, also cinema from 2000s and not only independent cinema from 1990s as you all seen in previous episodes so today I'm going to discuss about Broken English, directed by Zoe Cassavetes and released in 2007. Broken English tells the story of Nora, who is a single woman in her 30s, played by Parker Posey. Nora is unsatisfied with her life and stuck in an inconvenient job that does not represent nor her nor her personality. She tries to find meaning in her meaningless life. By having different interactions with people, she likes to be surrounded by people and tries to understand her interactions in every relationships that she has. Her most intimate discussions are taking part with her mother, Vivian, played by Gina Rollins, and her best friend and confident, Audrey. She tries to find everything she wants, even in the most peculiar things, like having a one-night stand with an actor, regardless of the consequences that she will have to face the other day. All in all, Nora is a romantic woman who tries to find the love of her life, but, of course, she will eventually find out that this is not a simple thing and that her life is about discovering who she truly is. to feel like the last person on earth so i thought i'd come by hmm. well this is the place you know it's a nice place Glenn. oh thanks i just can't believe that you're not out of town I, I just didn't feel like it this year oh well i'm glad that you're here hey um i'll get you a drink and i'll introduce you to some people this is uh, uh carl carl hi you're kind of pretty 
You, uh, you work with Glenn? Yes. The story is told visually absolutely brilliant by Zoe, because she was for sure influenced by her father, John Cassavetes, a landmark in the beginnings of independent cinema, as we all know. He died in 1989, but surely left behind a legacy in cinema that was inspirational not only for Zoe, but for many independent directors. She has these formal choices in the way she takes uh, her shots and I think it's a very important uh, contrast between dark and light. It's important to pay attention at the way broken English is filmed. We can see many scenes that are filmed inside rooms that at the first look uh, seem to be crowded. And this is a choice that reminds us of at least two important movies from John Cassavetes' filmography. I am thinking about Faces 1968, which really changed the face of cinema during those years and of course Love Streams 1984 uh, which is uh, about two uh, lost souls two characters that try to heal their wounds and heal each other and I think uh, this um, uh, light and dark a uh, contrast comes to represent inside and outside a character. Uh, here is a very interesting uh, appropriation and a very interesting um, thing that will eventually give us the choice to think about a game. Great night with you tonight, but I just want to go home. Oh no, come on, Nora, I'm excited to be with you. It's late. There's nothing to do. I wouldn't know what to do. But we'll find something. Come on, it's a beautiful night. I promise. What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? We're going here. Here? Get from out of my heart. Oh, no, right oh, no, no, great. So, as I was saying, I think the main theme of the movie can be the game of chance. Uh, this encounter at the party totally unexpected between Nora and Julian, Julian, which is a French guy coming to America, total new for him. They soon uh, develop this passionate and intimate relationship, which uh, will uh, unfortunately break them apart. And that's why it's very interesting because Nora chooses to take this trip to Paris uh, not only in search for Julian but also uh, trying to um, discover a different kind of life, uh, a life in Europe which of course is uh, having a cultural and huge differences uh, apart from the American uh, vibe. So I think this game of chance is repre represented in all levels. At the beginning of the movie, Parker Posey embodies somehow uh, an arch archetypal uh, model of woman, some like Audrey Hepburn in Sabrina, or Anna Karina from French cinema and bit by bit she will be transformed 
and by the end of the movie we will see a different Nora so her character is in total development during the movie and all her experiences eventually lead to a different finale I just want to ask what you are doing here. Did you come to see me? Because I don't understand. I like you so much and I never hear anything from you. And then you are just here in front of me now. Why? It's really complicated. Okay, but try to explain. explain. I came here to find you. Then I lost your number. You came here to see me. And you never find me. But then you find me. And now you leave. Stay with me for another drink. But you know you're gonna, gonna miss your flight. Thanks for watching my episode, and because uh, we are very close to Valentine's Day, I want to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. And don't forget that cinema is a place where directors represent different kind of love stories and of course don't forget that love is closer than you think it is.